Checking our mirrors is one of the most important things we must do when driving, as it helps us stay aware of what is around us and avoid dangerous situations. To pass the UK driving test, we will need to demonstrate good use of mirrors when making decisions whilst driving our car. So in this video, we will show exactly when we must check our mirrors to pass our test and stay safe afterwards. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you are alerted when we upload a new video. Also, we love to read your comments, so please scroll down and let us know what you think. There are three main instances when we must check our mirrors. Before indicating, before changing our road position and before changing our speed. However, we don't need to check all three mirrors every time, just the mirrors that would show where the danger might be. Let's go for a short drive around town so we can see when we would use each mirror. The graphics at the top of the screen will show which mirrors we should check and why. We start our drive in a busy car park and after a quick blind spot check, pull away. Since there can be many hazards in places like this, we keep our speed low and use our mirrors to keep an eye out for danger before we steer around corners. Cyclists or motorbikes might be tempted to squeeze through smaller gaps either side of us when we are driving this slowly. We should always check our mirrors for danger before committing to the manoeuvre with our indicators. This is because we could cause danger if we indicate carelessly. Nearby traffic might think we haven't seen them and take action to avoid us. Before indicating left, we check our centre and left mirrors in case there is any danger behind or to the side of us. When turning right, we would check the centre and right mirrors instead. Of course, we very rarely spot any danger, but if we do spot danger occasionally, then we will have a chance to avoid a crash. another right turn at this large crossroads junction, so we check for danger before making the turn. Another time that we should check our mirrors is when we need to change our speed. Sometimes we need to stop our car. This might be for a junction, a tight bend, a queue of traffic, or just a pedestrian crossing. Other times we need to brake to a lower speed, such as when we enter a lower speed limit. The benefit of knowing what is behind us is that if there is another vehicle very close, we can choose to brake earlier and more likely to reduce the chance of being hit from behind. It is also worth a mirror check when increasing our speed. If we enter a major road, we should check how fast traffic behind us is approaching and accelerate promptly if necessary. When we see the speed limit is increasing, we always check for traffic about to overtake us before speeding up, as this would cause danger. We also check our mirrors before changing our position on the road in case another vehicle is nearby. So if we need to change our lane, steer around a parked car, overtake a cyclist, or even turn right or left at a junction, we should check the mirror in the direction we need to steer towards. If the road is very busy, we even have the option of a shoulder check to ensure there is nothing hidden in our blind spot. If we spot another driver is about to overtake us, 
we might delay or abort our intended manoeuvre. After all, a short detour is far better than an accident. Of course, checking our mirrors takes a few seconds, so we always plan ahead as far as possible to give us this time. Looking as far as we can see on the road ahead will allow us to spot hazards well before we need to take action. Then there is plenty of time to check our mirrors before we start to break or steer around the problem. Even if we only intend to turn into a side road, checking our mirrors fairly early will give us more time to warn other drivers and control our car smoothly. Our recommendation of checking our mirrors before indicating, changing speed or changing position is really just a minimum standard. There is no harm if we choose to do extra mirror checks as long as we don't distract ourselves from what is on the road in front of us. Experienced drivers will keep an awareness of what is around their car all the time, even when they are just cruising at a steady speed on a straight road. They will be checking their mirrors regularly, probably several times a minute, and if they spot something unusual, they will use that information to decide what is the safest thing to do in that situation. Eventually, our mirror checks will become automatic and we won't even need to think about doing them. Any time we need to do something, we have a quick glance behind for danger and then decide whether we can do what we intend to. When on a driving test, there is no need to exaggerate our mirror checks. As long as we check the mirrors properly, the examiner will see what we are doing. Examiners are trained to monitor our eye movements, so they will know where we are looking without us needing to emphasise our mirror checks unnecessarily. As long as we check our mirrors often enough, so that we are aware of any danger behind our car, then there will be no faults given for mirror use. For the rest of this video, let's try and predict which mirrors will be needed for each situation on the road ahead. Which mirror should we check before slowing down? Is there any danger behind us? We need to slow down soon. A pedestrian crossing is ahead. What if we need to stop? We need to position in the right lane soon. And then change lanes to leave the roundabout. Cars ahead are braking.
there are pedestrians crossing. What if we need to stop? We need the right lane ahead. Is it safe? How near is that car behind us? We might need to stop for the pedestrians. Any danger behind us? Is it safe to speed up? Not if they cross the road like that. We need to turn left. Then right. Looks clear behind. Another right turn. There's a giveway line ahead. We need to keep left. And then steer around the parked cars. I'm sure you have got the idea by now. If we use our mirrors effectively as part of the mirror signal manoeuvre routine, then we can ensure that we minimise any danger that could be present. However, if we ignore our mirrors, then we could easily put ourselves in danger and even get involved in an accident that could have been prevented. We'll just park on the left between these two minis to finish our drive. Of course, when manoeuvring, we can't rely on our mirrors alone. So we look over both shoulders as well to check for danger in our blind spots. So remember to look ahead to give us time to forward plan, check mirrors before indicating, check mirrors before changing speed and 
check mirrors before changing position. If you found this video interesting, then please visit our channel as there are over 100 more tutorial videos to help you improve your driving. If you would like to help us make new videos, then please consider becoming a member or patron of our channel. Thanks for watching.